make some tamales with our friends. And it's a Texas holiday tradition. So we'll see you there. We're here with Miss Tara and Ava. And we're making tamales. Right. And tamales are a traditional Christmas thing. A thing to eat at Christmas here in Texas, right? Yes. Have you guys eaten tamales? No. No? Well, now you'll have to because you're going to help me make them. <laughs> a Fiesta, which is a um, Mexican grocery store, and I buy fresh masa. And it comes in these big things. This is half of it. So it comes in a big thing. And what it is, all it is is ground up corn. Mm. So I took some of that and that that's what it looks like when you kind of crumble it up. And you want it crumbly because you're going to mix it with stuff. Okay, y'all can feel it if you want to. Blech. It kind of feels like, yeah, wet sand. <laughs> yeah. Coarse sand. So what we do, I use a big sand mixer because it's faster and easier and I can do something else while it mixes. So we're going to pour all the masa in the bowl, of course. And then it's really pretty easy. What you have to add to it is lard. You know what lard is? Lard, yeah. It looks like, kind of like butter, but it's, in, it's fat. It's probably oh. beef fat. <laughs> um, it's better when it's kind of warm. It spreads. You can spread it out easier when it's warm. So we are going to warm up the lard. Warm up. Does it not like how butter melts? Exactly, yeah. When it melts, it'll be clear. Let's get this going so that it can get all the lumps out. And then this is chili paste. And what this is are some dried, uh, different dried chilies. And I put them in boiling water and let them soak where they're soft. And then I put them in a blender and just blend them up. And this is what gives it its flavor. Some of the chilies are kind of smoky. It, this is not really spicy, but it's a little. So if you smell it, it kind of smells like, mmm, that smells like beef. Yeah. yeah. So you just want enough of this in the masa to kind of make it turn pink, to flavor it a little bit. So just a couple spoons, doesn't need to be a lot. We're making pork tamales today. Mm. So when you cook the pork, you have what we call drippings, you know, all the juices that come out of the meat. And I save that because that's where all the flavor is. And so I take a, just a little bit and I put it also in there. And you, if your masa ends up being too thick, you can add a little more of that. This is why you wash your hands. Making tamales requires a lot of hand work. So I'm just gonna loosen that up before we pour the lard in. Ooh, it's yeah. Some people do not melt theirs. This is looking funky. Not everybody puts baking powder in, but I do. Some people do, some people don't. I do because what baking powder does is it helps if you put it in cookies or masa dough or whatever, it helps it puff up. And I like my masa to be puffy. When you eat it, you don't want it to be all, you know, cakey and stuff. So I put about a teaspoon, and uh, maybe, I'll add all it. I'll put that in. Mm. And you let it just beat for a while because you want all those chunks out. You want it really smooth, as smooth as you can get it. So a way to tell if you have enough lard or fat in your masa is you want it to float on water. And so I just have a cup of water here. You just take a little bit. If you put too much, it'll sink like you can tell my other batch. If I put too much, I hope it floats. Nope, that one did not. And sometimes I have to alter what I put in here. There it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good enough. So, it blew for a second. Now, we're making pork tamales. So, what I did a few days ago is I got what they call, don't laugh, a pork butt. <laughs> 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 and cooked it. 
So this is cook, and it's not really the the pig's butt. Oh, it's more like its shoulder. Okay, I don't know why they call it a butt, but they do. So it's just a big piece of meat, and I cook it in a slow cooker, or I just got a new pressure cooker, which I'm going to start using. Yay! And so it turns out like this, and I have shredded it and cut it into little pieces, and now we're going to add the seasoning to it. So again, I just eyeball everything. And it takes more salt than you think it does. Because you want some flavor. You want some of your chili paste. This is where you can either make it spicy tamales or not spicy tamales. And today, I don't do this every time. Like I said, I kind of change it every year. I'm putting in some garlic powder. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then we just mix it up. Everyone's hands are clean, right? Yep. If you want to, just take a little pinch of that. I'll go first. Because I like it. Take a little pinch. Pop it in your mouth. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. It's mm. giving me more flavor. It's missing something. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's no salt, I think. Mm. I think we got enough salt. I think I we need more of this. We can put whatever we want. Mm. Would pepper be good in it? Yes, pepper would be great. You want to grab the pepper mill right there and start, start turning. Go for it. Yeah, turn that big silver thing that way, <laughs> other way. It's kind of hard. Oh, oh. Can I do it, Ella? Yeah, there you go. Turn that. Just that. There. Keep going. We have a lot of meat. We need a lot of pepper. Okay, yeah, so we can put whatever we want. Cotton candy? <laughs> that probably uh, would be good. Since you have to steam them when they're all done, the cotton candy would probably melt away. And it probably wouldn't be good. But I've okay. had coconut raisin tamales. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I've had chicken tamales, beef tamales, I've had venison tamales, Ooh. and all kinds of stuff. Oh, that tastes better. Mmm. -hmm. That tastes really good plain. Hmm. Oh, that was tiny. This will just, this cayenne pepper will just give it a little bit of flavor. A flavor. Of flavor. <laughs> My dirty hand. Okay, now we're going to go down to that end of the table and I'll teach you how to roll. Here? Yeah. Snazzy. Snazzy. Ooh. And it kind of feels like a Play Doh. Gritty play doh. So I'm gonna put a plop right there. Don't touch it yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, these are corn husk. Oh. When you eat corn on the cob, you know, if you Yeah. The green part. Wait, can you That's eat what those? these are. No, you do not eat these. You take them off in the tamale. This is the um, corn husks for tamales. Right, and you buy them in a bag like this, and they're dried, and so... They're very light. They're very light, and you wouldn't believe how many are in there. This it's, is about half of one of those bags. So what you do is you put them in a bucket or a big bowl of water, and you can put like a bowl or something on top of it to push them down, because they're so light they float, and you mm -hmm. soak them in water for sometimes overnight, you know, for at least many, many hours so that they come out like this and they're nice and soft and you can bend them and all of that. Okay, so you have the narrow end and then it kind of fans out like mm -hmm. that. Okay, scary. okay, you do not want masa on the narrow end. Okay. So you will start about two thirds up. Now watch how I do this first. This took me a long time to do well. So you get some masa on your spoon. You, this is the way I do it. Again, everyone has their own way of doing it. 
I kind of put it in the middle of my husk and then you use the back of the spoon and sometimes I lay it down, it's easier to do it flat, and you spread it. Off of the husk? Yeah, it's okay if it comes off. Okay. And what you want, you don't want it too thick because then that's all you'll taste when you eat it is masa. You want to be able to taste the meat. You don't want it too thin. Because if it's too thin, it won't cook. Right. It won't really cover your meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to make it as even as possible. Okay. That looks good. This is why it takes so long. Okay, now you put the meat in. Do you guys want to try this first? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's your masa. Okay, and you may have to pick it up and, so that you can get it off your spoon. There you go. And just use as much as you need. This is also why you want, you don't want your masa to be cold. Because if it, the warmer it is, the easier it is to spread. You guys are doing great. Okay, so now it's time to put the meat in. And okay. something that a lot of people do um, that's not great is they put too much meat. So, it, you know, when you eat tamales, or when I eat tamales, I can never eat one tamale. It's like a potato uh -huh. chip. I have to eat many tamales. So, if you add up all the tamales you eat in one sitting, um, if you put a little bit on each one, you're going to end up getting enough meat. Okay, so I'll do it first. And again, I just use my hands because it's that's why God gave them to us, right? Mm -hmm. And you just kind of line it up like that. Again, it doesn't take much. I mean, it was just like a big pinch. And then, oh, I haven't done this in a while. I hope I don't mess it up. You can't mess it up too badly. So what you want to do is you're going to fold this over to where this side of the masa touches this side of the masa. And then watch what I do. So I'm going to fold it over. And you can kind of use your fingers to keep the meat in place if you want. Fold it over. Okay, so it's touching like that. Here's the trick. Hold this side of your husk and not firmly, but gently press down where the masa has touched each other and pull it back a little bit. That seals it so that um, you have masa all the way around your meat. So you pull it back a little bit. It's okay that some's out here, not a big deal. And then you just start rolling. And you roll it all the way up. You have this end. You fold that end up and there's your tamale. You can Ooh, see in the middle, cool. it has, you can see your meat. And that's it. Looks One good. down. Looks good. 85,000 to go. Maybe we can okay. get this done. So, Hopefully. Meat. Is this too much? Is this too much? Is this too little? That is not too much. <laughs> that, I don't know, I need to see it. You probably need more. Okay, yeah, so fold it over to where? Almost in half. There you go, there you go, good. Okay, kind of gently press down right there, gently. Now, this is the way I do it. If you come up with an easier way for you, go for it. So then you can kind of hold with, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, so with your left fingers, hold that gently. With your right hand, put it that, and just pull it back a little bit. She's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, that'll be okay. This is good. You know what? If you want to, you can always open it up and check. I'm sure. I don't know. Oh, what that? Oh, I did it well. <laughs> okay. I did and it. then I, I do it. So turn my Look face. at my and then <laughs> Poor Ella. My rib. That's this okay. Mommy is dead. You know what? We can fix that. Let oh, me show you how. We can. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. These are so thin. So let me have your tamale. Okay. You just. Put it on here, and you roll it back like that. Oh, I should have Ta-da. Okay, so let's pretend like we have many dozen tamales made, rolled, mm -hmm. and we're ready to steam them. So this is a tamale pot. And what it really is, it's just a big pot with 
the steaming rack in the bottom. And you put water in the bottom, almost, it comes up almost to the rack. And then you put your tamales in there, put it on the stove, and you just steam it. You have to make sure that um, it doesn't run out of water or it will burn. Okay, so you don't want to lay your tamales down flat in the pot. You want to stand them up like soldiers, and you want to make sure that the open end is standing up. Otherwise, when it steams, all your stuff is going to come out falling. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you just grab a handful and you start on the side and put the tamales in the side. Some of these are falling through, that's okay. And then you just keep stacking them around and around until this whole pot is filled with tamales. That's a lot of tamales. It's a lot of tamales. It probably will hold at least six or seven dozen tamales in this pot. And in a couple of hours, you can enjoy your delicious tamales. Merry Christmas! Bye! And a Happy New Year! Did you get my face? <laughs>to go make some tamales with our friends. See, so we're going to go make some Ow! What's your, what's hey guys, we're, we're going, going to go to, to our friends house to go make some Oh, it's videoing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were taking a picture. Uh, a pork butt. <laughs> <laughs> a pork butt. A pork butt. A pork, a pork, a pork, a pork butt.